Guys, I got some great information for you today. I got some great data. I've been measuring the humidity and the temperature in that ventilation box with some telemetry that you're gonna be fascinated by. I've been measuring the humidity coming up out of those holes, what's above the burlap. Let's take a look, it's crazy. So what I wanna do is figure out how far my weather station is actually from my hive out here because it's really reaching quite far. I'm not sure how far, how long this is, but it's pretty long. I've just got some crazy data to share with you guys about this humidity thing and this quilt box and such. Oop, I'm getting low. There it is right there. How many feet is this? Oh, this is 100 feet so far. About 100 to that point. I'm going to take this jar. I'm going to put it here at the 100 foot mark and then measure from there. There it is right there. All right, so 100 foot plus, ooh, plus about, it's sliding with me, so about 93 feet. 193 feet from my actual display to here. It's Quite a, quite a distance. Oh, my hands are cold. I've got some data that's gonna blow your mind about this ventilation on top. I actually put a sensor in there. I didn't put my computer sensor, but I, I put a regular uh, humidity and temperature sensor in the ventilation box above the burlap, below the burlap, measuring what's coming up through that little hole, how much humidity and all. You're gonna love this. Look at this, another thing that I have invested in in the bee operation is a weather station. And I'm using my weather station to monitor one of my hives. Let me show you how I do it. So as you can see here, it's 9.21 in the evening and it's 34 degrees outside with a wind of 4.5. And it looks like here we can see the actual humidity outside, which is 70% dew point is 25.7 and so the temperature outside is 34 the humidity outside is 70 percent but where the sensor is laying on top of the burlap in my vent box ventilation box you can see the temperature is a little over four degrees warmer on top of the burlap and the humidity is 58 percent a lot lower than the humidity outside of 70%. So you can see that the box itself, uh, the burlap, uh, must be acting as a type of dryer because we have a significant amount, 12% uh, to be exact, of uh, less humidity above the burlap. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go out there and actually place this sensor right on top of one of the holes to see if the humidity coming up from one of those holes is higher than the humidity that's above the burlap in the box. Okay, there's my sensor. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower so they can possibly do a better job at picking up the moisture coming out of maybe the center hole. I'm going to read this again before I move it. 38 and 58. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. Put the burlap over it. Okay, we're back in from moving the sensor to just above the circle hole. And you can notice that immediately we have increased the humidity up to 63%. And the temperature has risen as well. So we have warmer air and moist, more moist air that is coming up through the actual hole 
Uh, this is before it hits the actual burlap uh, and the space above the burlap. Look at this today. It's about 10.30 in the morning. It's snowing a little bit, 32 degrees. The humidity outside, 98%. So what is it above the screen in the, in the hive? It's 67% humidity coming up through the little hole right onto the sensor. Temperature is 44, so it's 12 degrees warmer coming up out of that top box screen. It's about 44, so it's probably about 92 down in the cluster and the air coming up through the super and then finally hitting that sensor is 44 outside that cluster. Hey guys, before I show you another way that you can monitor the moisture level in your hive, I wanna tell you uh, thanks a lot for subscribing. Gosh, this is so exciting. We're nearing 100,000 and I'm excited and I know that a lot of you are getting excited watching this number grow as well. Couldn't do it without you. You guys are bumping that number up. So hit the accelerator, hit that subscribe button, speed up this process. Might make it by Thanksgiving day. That would be huge. It's a milestone in my life. I'm working hard for you guys making videos for you. And I hope you can see that. I'm putting my time in, putting my due diligence in. I'm being motivated and dedicated to this channel to help you. And all you have to do to kind of reward me for doing it is hit the subscribe button and watch my videos. It means so much to me. Thank you. Let's continue this study about moisture in the hive and all. I want to show you one more piece of monitoring equipment that you can use that it doesn't break the bank. Under 40 bucks, you can monitor the temperature and the humidity in your uh, ventilation box. Let's take a look. Now, here's another great tool that I use. I picked these up for about 40 bucks and they're from Thermopro. I'll leave links in the description. But what's so cool about these, they measure temperature and humidity, and they hook into your Wi-Fi. And I have an app on my phone that helps me monitor it. Now I have this set up out in a utility room on the bee farm here. You, you may remember we've had some problems with getting enough water in our well. So I actually purchased this 550 gallon tank, and it's in a room out here that's not really heated. I don't want this tank to freeze. It'd take a lot to freeze it. So I just stuck a little heater on low here. And now I can monitor the temperature of this room and make sure it doesn't get uh, very uh, cold. And if it does, I can set an alarm that will tell me how cold it is. These little units, you can slip in a ventilation box above your hive and monitor it on your phone as well. In case you didn't see my last video, how you can save your hive this winter for 10 cents, two nickels, here's the video. You guys loved it. I thought you liked the one before it better, but now you like that one better. So take a look, I'll see you over there.